guys, Trev One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sandal review and unboxing of the Nike On Answers for you right now. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, it helps us greatly. Drop us a like in the comment section below. We try our best to apply to every comment that's thrown our way. And I just want to take this time and opportunity to thank the subscribers new and old without you guys who can't do this. So thank you. Now let's go. So today we've got a look at the Nike One Onta. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If you're watching this and you're saying, God, you're saying that wrong. For the love of God, stop saying it. Uh, let us know how you should say it, like phonetically spell it out. And I'll give it, I'll give it a shot. I mean, it's, it would be nice to know. But so we've got these sandals in a UK size seven and oh, it's quite um sorry so i'm gonna open this actually and tell you the size of it. here they are for all those wondering uh so we got this in the uk size seven so european 41 and it's a us eight and we got these nike on a onto sandals in sesame black off noir colorway and i know what you're thinking like could have been Nike did this uh, sandal. I'm not that surprised because Nike have done loads of sneakers in the past. I mean, I remember when Nike Rifts were a thing, and you know, when Tabby kind of like, especially with that, I've got the Margiela, the Margiela boot with the Tabby on there, with the Tabby toe. Um, I won't be surprised that Nike Rifts are going to come back. That's what I personally think. Now, hold me to that as well. I've got this recording as my. As my record of saying that Tabby Culture is back, right? Uh, but anyway, we got these cool Nike sandals. Really dope to look at. I mean, look, it's vibrant with the colours and everything. It's not your typical sandal. This was kind of built for, you know, your tr treks outside. Uh, and you still want to be breathable, so you're pretty much exposing your feet. And that is what Nike had in mind. So. We'll get into all the details right now for you. So we'll start with the outsole. So this outsole is an all rubber outsole. You can see the all the lugs, it's very aggressive. And you can see the Nike Trail logo right there. It's that triangle there for you. So again, as I mentioned before, this is using, used for your trail walks and your hikes. The midsole unit essentially is a fine on midsole see it all around and part of it is the rubber that is extends and you can see again the Nike trail logo that is on the middle and the video side the upper so the upper essentially is made up of a lot of materials you've got synthetics mostly you've got this foam part that covers uh, the majority of your big toe area the top of your feet and then you've got all the straps and buckles here for you just to fasten it and everything. Then you've got this little toggle where the sling back is. So if you look here, it's where the sling back. And you've got a little toggle just to adjust your fit. The footbed is something to marvel at. So it's a very foot soft footbed. Again, this is a lot of foam that's been used. I mean, obviously you want to have the underside of your feet to use extremely comfortable whilst you're doing some uh, rigorous walking. And yeah, that, that kind of rounds off my review. All the materials here, it's just again, oh, they're all synthetic buckles, got your nylons, easily adjustable, you just pull it. I'll show you when I put these on. Personally, uh, I would use this, you know, for hikes. I wouldn't personally wear these in everyday use. Um, because I've got a pair of Birkenstocks and yeah, it's just who I am and Birkenstocks, what I love about Birkenstocks is that, you know, you can mould them to the shape of the underside of your feet. We've done some Birkenstocks in the past before, so check those reviews out. I won't be surprised that these won't be too bad because they're from Nike, but I'm a traditionalist when it comes to sandals, I wear like your Birks. But that's just me, I'm going to check this out how it is. So I'll run out footage of me trying to use Are they on to Zon again? Conscious enough that if I'm pronouncing it wrong, if I'm killing the vernacular for you, just let me know in the comment section below. That's what it's there for. Roll out for you to be Chinese on for you.
Usually when it comes to Nike footwear, I'm a UK size 7.5. This is UK size 7 and I think you guys have to go half size down if you want to be barefoot. Unfortunately, that's what I'm doing. So apologies for you guys. You are the biggest feet, uh, feet fans, but you know, for those who are, let's know we might open an open OnlyFans or something, I don't know. But they're very comfortable. That's why I kind of expect very um, soft foot beds. I feel very great traction. Personally, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a big Birkenstock fan. This feels quite elevated in regards to, it's giving me more height. I want to be more close to the ground. It's my preferred Birks. But that's just me. Otherwise, this looks like a really cool, uh, you know, sandal on. You know, the colors is really cool. And yeah. Um, one other thing is, is that like, I'm a big fan of like Nike's like sandal look, especially like the Nike Rift. Um, I think the Nike Rift is going to be big. Call me on that, I want to be held accountable for this thing as well. Nike Rift is going to be a big thing in the near future. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us. I want more reviews with the Z at the end on Instagram and on TikTok. Until next time, peace.